What's good, everybody? Paul the Fifth here, doing my signature move from the homestead today. Check out my pretty cool painting of the Taj Mahal. If you don't know, I'm an Indian guy living in Nashville, so this reminds me of my heritage. So today's video is a little different, it's unique. I want to share something very cool that's very new with you here. Since we're still in this health situation thing, some of us are still able to go out, some of us are still staying at home. Me, I'm not a big baller yet. I can't afford a $1,500 budget for a studio such as maybe Ronnie's Place or Backstage at Soundstage Studios or maybe Studio D at Blackbird Studio. But here's what I can afford and you can use this anywhere in the world. I know it's got you thinking, you're, ooh, the butterflies. I know you're probably excited. And what's he about to tell us today? Well, stay tuned because here in just a few seconds, I'm gonna tell you about this new plugin that's been on the market. It's at one of the coolest studios in the entire world. And it's located right here in Berry Hill in Nashville, Tennessee. All right, before we get into this, go ahead and check out the showreel. Yo, my name is Paul the Fear. What's up, everybody? I'm no Peter McKinnon, as you can obviously tell, but guess what? My name is Paul. You can call me Paul the Fifth. Before I get started into this part of the video, let me go ahead and take a sip of Java. I need a little energy. I got this cup here. It's my API coffee mug. I got this from an industry event, I think at Westlake Pro about three years ago. So let me down this and we'll get started. So as I mentioned, in today's age, I am an up and coming engineer and producer here in the Nashville area. I can't afford a $1,500 day rate to go somewhere like Blackbird Studio A, as much as I'd like to rent out Ronnie's place or backstage at Soundstage Studios, it's just not in my budget at the moment. But here's what I can't afford. Recently, right down the road, one of the biggest studios, world renowned, Blackbird Studios, right around the corner from me here in Berry Hill, Tennessee, started by John McBride. If you haven't heard his name, you might know his wife, Martina. So Blackbird is a combination of things. It is a major studio. There is a school for learning recording arts, as well as a live sound division. It's more up on the north side of town. Recently, there has been a company called Kit Plugins, and they have teamed up with Blackbird Studios. And that's the theme for today's topic. So I realize you probably can't see what I'm doing here, so I'm gonna split the screen and put it somewhere around over here. So let's, let's go. All right, so this is called BBN105. It's a channel strip plugin, BB, hence the name, Blackbird Studios, N105. This is emulating one of the consoles in Studio A at Blackbird Studios. Let's take a look at this. Nashville, Tennessee, June 22nd, 2021. Blackbird Studio and Nashville-based developer of audio tools, Kit Plugins, K-I-T, have teamed up to release the BBN105 plugin, the first ever channel strip emulation of the rare Neve analog console in Blackbird's legendary Studio A. The emulation is the only one of its kind, bringing the cleanest and most pure sonic quality and the sound of Studio A to modern DAWs. The BBN105 is the second release from Blackbird Studio and Kit Plugins following the Blackbird's high gain profile. So I'm excited to check this out and show you this. Let's go ahead and take a look at my favorite website, sweetwater.com. Let's go ahead and add this to my cart. Oh, the faded port. I'm not going to get that right now, but that's something I was looking at. Thanks for your order. Awesome. I've got that. Let's go over to the kit plugin site. Now, I could have bought this from kit plugins. However, I wanted to be loyal to my Sweetwater representative. His name is Matt South. If you want to call, give him some love. On the kit website, they've got a free plugin here called Barrier. Cool, so I've got both of those now. Let's go ahead and take a trip on over to the studio and get these downloaded and installed. All right, 
right, guys, we are about to go by Nissan Stadium, home of the Titans. A lot of cool other outdoor events held here as well. So this area is known as Germantown. Over here to the left is Christy Cookie. Oh my gosh, that place has the best cookies ever. So one thing about me is I like to take the scenic routes. I don't like driving on the interstate. But this field over here to the right in that parking lot where that semi is at now, it used to be an empty lot. It was some kind of building that got torn down. I've always wanted to have that as a property for Legacy Studios. Last time I checked it was listed for 2.5 mil. Again, I'm not on that type of a budget just yet, but here we are. I am currently at the studio. guys here we go it's a busy day at the studio for today's content we're continuing on with the theme of the blackbird plugins and you already know I have access. Hoo wee! What's up, guys? It's hot today. <sighs> okay. So, you're probably wondering what the heck is this and that. That's my normal lights. This one here my softbox came off so i've got to reattach it but makes for a pretty cool lens flare right let's go ahead and finish downloading these uh kit plugins and get things going it is time to go ahead and download these two new plugins so if you haven't heard me talk about this i don't want to use the word complain at all but if you haven't heard me mention that the internet at this facility is, yeah, so if this takes a while, I apologize. Here we go. Oh, wait, do you hear that? Yeah, that's my fan. I had to put a fan in here because the AC in my part of the studio has gone out. Yeah, so I'm dealing with this in the middle of the summer okay here we go okay so first things first let's go ahead and do the free one here we go download from mac os yeah here we go with this slow internet while i'm waiting on this how is your summer going what are you up to are you making music have you had a cookout family reunion what's up let me know in those comments bet there we go Click on downloads, barrier. So my summer's been fun. I've been traveling, going to different studios around the area. There it is. Okay, continue, agree. All right, install. Yeah, successful, move to trash. Cool, that was easy. Let's check the next one. Now this one's from Sweetwater here. So this has some activation instructions. I've got my activation code, but let's click on it. Okay. Okay. My iLock account, download the installer, activate the license with iLock. All right. So download and install the plugin, download the installer. This is cool. Activation limit. You can have two simultaneous activations with kit plugins. That's great because I want to have one at the studio and I want the other one to be on my laptop. Okay, I already got that one, but what's the difference? 
let's just do this one I guess allow if it doesn't work it doesn't work then I'll realize I have to go back and do the other one while that's doing that let me pull up my iLock manager there we go iLock license manager check it out it's 444 sign in oh yeah I haven't got my new iLock yet the USB-C one I've been talking about it but haven't haven't gotten it yet all right let's minimize that cool there we go all right continue continue agree continue install bam everything's good the computer's restarting i'm gonna go ahead and log into my mac mini and do the same process here we go for this track i'm gonna use uh these old drumsticks that have been beaten up. This one's about to break. This one, the tip already fell off and sliced in half. If you can't tell, the heat in here is rising. I'm sweating like a donkey. And um, it feels like a pressure cooker in here. But for this drum track, I found a drumless track on YouTube. Let me show you that process of how I get that track downloaded and imported into Logic. And then we'll track it. Here we go. All right, so here's the process to find something that's copyright free to get that song downloaded and then import that into Logic. So come along on this process. So what I did was I went to YouTube and I found some pages. I put in short drumless tracks copyright free and I found this one here. Cool, so what I did was copy that URL. Let's go to YouTube to MP3, find that previous link, command V to paste, convert, download. This always pops up, you can ignore that. There it is. There we go, so we'll click on that. Show in Finder, Control, share airdrop then what i did was on my mac mini i accepted that airdrop i put it into a pre-made logic template that i have and uh, that's it let me show you that template real quick so i've got a pre-made template here i put that in uh, blackbird 109 drums here's the template all right there we go so if you notice here I've got track one, I already imported that, but let me show you how I did that again. We'll pull up a new finder tab under downloads. Here's that heavy rock drumless backing track. And what I did was I took this, put it right up like that, and there we go. So that's how I got that track from YouTube, downloaded it to YouTube MP3 player. From my laptop, I airdropped it to this computer, simply from downloads, dragged and dropped right into Logic, into my template. So let's go ahead and track this. All right, wish me luck. Hopefully I don't, uh, it's probably not a good idea wearing the ring, but hopefully I don't get any splinters or anything. Here we go. Let me hit that red R button. Well, that did happen. Yeah, so your boy is good at breaking things, breaking hearts and sticks. All right, so let me show you on the flip side from the producer and engineer side, how to put these kit plugins on here and to make things sound a little bit better than the raw recording. Here we go. So I want to take just a little time to explain a little more in depth what this actually does. So if we go to kit plugins, I've got their website pulled up and here at the bottom, we'll see controls, preamp sensitivity. That's right here. Preamp mode. 
line or mic preamp saturation right here. You can turn it on or off. High frequency, pretty much like any channel strip. That would be right here. High mode, high gain, high mid frequency, high mid Q, high mid gain, low mid frequency, etc. And then a couple things that I really like on here is your output level on the fader. Then you've got your analog hum. I really like that. You can turn that on or off and you have your hum level just to kind of recreate and give you more of that actual analog hiss. So let me show you some of the settings I use for these drum tracks. So what I'm gonna do is show you the EQ curve that I've got on the Logic Stock EQ, and then I'll show you what I did on the Kip BBN105 plugin. On the rooms, they're pretty much consistent all across the board here, but on the channel EQ, I've got it rolled off down here, a little boost for the kick drum, pulled a decent amount of the mids out, and then a boost, a high shelf for the symbols. So what I did on the plugin, I changed it to mic, a little bit of gain here, rolled things off at about 47 hertz on the low end, pulled some mid range out, a little bite up here about 1.5K. So that's consistent between these channels here. For the kick in, the EQ curve is as such, rolled off a little boost, a uh, pretty aggressive dip on the mid-range and a little boost for that punch in the top for that kick drum. Kick out, which is my Solomon Low Freak mic. On this, I've got things rolled off down to 42 hertz and then a nice boost on the low end. So what I did on this plug-in, here's my gain. I've got it on mic again. And then I've got things rolled off to 47 hertz. Snare top rolled off i have a funny honkiness in my snare so i pulled that out at about 140 hertz a little boost in the mid-range at about 510 uh dip at about 1700 almost and then a little boost at a little over 4k so to emulate that with this plug-in here's my gain i've got that on mic again rolled off to 27 hertz uh the boost there about 100 the low mids pulled out, and then again here at about 4.7K, I've got that boost. For the snare bottom, pretty similar EQ curve, other than I've got rolled off, and then a really kind of a wide boost in the mid range there. So on the kit plug-in, we have things changed to mic, here's my gain, rolled off to 47, and then here's the uh, mid range there on Tom 1, kind of like on the snare two. So I've got it rolled off and then I've got the fundamental right here at about mm, 125 boosted on the kit plugin. Same thing here, we've got my gain. I've got things cut to about 82. Uh, here's my boost there and a little bit of a boost here in the mid range. For Tom 2, same thing. However, the fundamental is a little bit lower. Then I pulled out a decent amount, about 700. And then a little boost here for some uh, nice crispness on those toms. Right here on the Blackbird plug-in, I rolled off to 82, a little more than 100. Uh, here's my mid-range, and then about 4.7K, I've got that boost. Tom 3, same thing, I rolled off to about 75 hertz, and then we've got a boost at about 101 flat there and then a boost at about 5.6k on the kit plug-in we've got that turned over here's my gain i've got the rolled off to 47 here's the boost at about 100 again mid-range and then right here about 3.3k i've got that boost moving on here to my hi-hat left the eq curve basically rolled off and then i've got a high shelf at about 6k so here's my settings on the plugin for the hi-hat. And that says hi-hat left, it should have been right. But the overheads again are very similar to the room mic. So there we have it. Let's take a listen to see how this turned out.
<laughs> okay, you don't know how happy I am. I think that took me probably literally 45 attempts, but I think that was it. All right, guys, so that was the process of me getting that plugin from purchase to download and getting it installed. Then I showed you some of my settings that I used for that drum mix. I thank you so much for stopping by and watching today. If you found anything valuable or maybe learned something, I'd appreciate those thumbs up. And maybe if you're new here, smash that subscribe button because that'll let you know when I post more content like this. Also, if you haven't checked out my studio tours, you should do that. You can catch them up about here somewhere. Wrapping things up here. If you forgot my name, you know I'm not gonna let you forget it. My name is Paul the Fit.